guys hey it's a good AJ I am back with another video and today <clears throat> I look I don't know it's fine just so my my hair just you know let's be professional here because my hair's all over the place like let's not concentrate on my hair and let's just do the video <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm talking a lot about my hair. So you guys are always complaining about my skin on my last videos. But look at this. It's popping back. But yeah. We're getting better now. I'm not using anything. It's just. I don't know what was happening. So yeah. You guys. Today. The weather is shitty. Like it's gloomy. It's raining. I don't know. I'm using natural light. I try to switch on the light. Like in the house. I don't know how that's gonna work because wow it's it's not the best day to film but I have to because you know I need content content and I don't mind my nails so yeah today I'm going to be talking about relationship 101 relationships people are struggling out there about relationships and all that so I drafted something so that I don't forget and I put them right there so that I don't just like um I don't just look down and all that. So I'm just gonna put it there. And yeah, you guys, let's get right on with the video. And yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about the three C's to a healthy relationship. If you want to be in a healthy relationship, some others are just doomed to be in a bad relationship, a toxic relationship because they enjoy it. I don't know. People are different. So I ran out of space, but we're back now. I hope I'm going to last for at least 15 minutes. I'm going to talk fast. So I'm going to be talking about the traces to a healthy relationship. And the first one is communication communication you guys communication is it's just a base of a relationship i don't know but it's something that you need in a relationship you need to think about how you use your communication to make your your partner what am i saying you need to think about how to make your partner feel co comfortable feel desired and feel needed and appreciated i mean if your partner doesn't feel appreciated or desired and needed in the relationship then what's the point of forming a relationship with that certain person so you need to communicate better with your partner um and the other things on uh communication you guys action speaks volumes like it speaks louder the way you act towards your partner speaks louder so be careful on how you act towards the other person because that's something that you know and another thing is that um remember the listening is the component of a, of a healthy relationship you need to listen to what the other person has to say. So, if you listen, the person will feel appreciated that this person hears what I'm saying. If you don't listen, then how is the communication? Don't speak over someone while the like. Don't speak over the person that's speaking. Give them time to speak, and you listen. That's that's healthy like it's a communication that will be better for you guys if you listen to the other person listen to what they have to say so that you can say your opinions or what you think so another thing is in a relationship it's not about what i said it's about how you said it did you say it in a right way or in an offensive way so if you're communicating like f think about how you say you're saying uh the things so and think about how is this person going to feel when i say this kind of thing because it might not sit well with the other person and which is just bad that's important in a relationship think don't 
uh, the relationship is not about what I say. It's, it's about how you say it, how you say the things. So the other thing is compromise. This is the biggest issue in relationships. Two people in a relationship, they both bring individual experiences, individual behaviors and thoughts. So in order to, and you, the, these two people that are coming into this relationship, they have two different personalities. So you need to find a common ground. You need to find a common ground in your relationship, meaning you need to express your opinions. You need to accept the differences that you have. And you also need to agree to compromise. Compromise, you guys. Compromising is something that you need. Like, you can't be in a relationship and expect the other person to be the only one that's compromising their life for you and you're not willing to do the same thing. If you need a healthy relationship, you need to both compromise. So, yeah, both feel heard and understood. If, I, if you feel like your partner is hearing you and understanding you, then that will pre prevent the person from feeling like they're giving in for like they're giving in for nothing so if you you make your partner feel um understood and heard like you make them feel like you do understand what they're trying to say and you're hearing their point then that's a good thing because you need to make them feel appreciated and that's gonna if you don't do that that's gonna um it's going to build resentment over time in the relationship and you, you don't want to resent each other so yeah and i'm sorry i'm looking at myself not the camera i don't think i'm gonna be able to look at the camera because well i'm trying to see if the lighting the lighting is still good but yeah it's fine um okay so the other the the third one is commitment my favorite one it's commitment i mean commitment means putting each other's relationship first if you're putting your relationship first and that requires giving in you know i i hope you understand when i say giving in like giving in whatever you have like all yourself giving in I don't know if you get me, but that's a like that's a number one thing to a healthy relationship. It requires a lot of sacrifices. You need to sacrifice a lot of things. Don't be the kind of person that be like, I'm not gonna do this because of this. You need to sacrifice what you love for the person you love the most. I hope that makes sense. You need to sacrifice, you guys. If you don't do that. I mean, the other person will not be willing to do that because you're not willing to do the same thing towards them. So you need to both agree to sacrifice when it comes to commitment. And the other thing is, best thing about uh, giving in, it brings the it brings the greatest joy in the relationship. Like you're not worried. You just know that I, I can count on my partner and they can do the right thing for me. I, I can also do the right thing for them. So if they're willing to sacrifice whatever for me, why am I not willing to do that? So then you, you sit down, you ask yourself well, why, and then you decide like, okay, let me just compromise these ones. And if you did and it feels so good, the greatest joy you ever experienced, and then everything just moved smoothly and you guys will be happy like trust me and yeah the next thing is growing together it grows or it builds the intimacy and fulfillment in your relationship because growing together means that you know each other in and out you know what your partner doesn't like and you're not gonna uh, do that because you know what the results are gonna be. And so, I mean, intimacy, that's something that's a big deal in a relationship. So, 
yeah, I mean, compromising, compliment, commitment is something that you you really need in your relationship. And another thing is, uh, trust and intimacy can help re release the fears and the doubts that hold you back. It can help you release everything that you felt like it's been holding you back just trust your partner and stop doubting your part your partner because i mean you think okay let me give you an example right now you can call your partner and be like uh okay you're calling and he's not answering and let's say he's online but not texting in that's that's a test like i know people think i don't know but if you think that um uh, he's talking to someone else or she's talking to other people not texting me blah 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 i'm not gonna text you and all that shit is shit for real just i mean you guys don't do that even don't doubt your partner you know make your mind feel i don't know if you, you 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 can get what I'm saying, but just try to make it. You don't make it a big deal. I mean, just what if your partner fell asleep while the phone is still online? What if you went out, you went to the bathroom, or you went, I don't know, he went out or he's talking to someone and the phone is online. What if the, your partner forgot your, the phone while it's online and he or she went to cook? And you guys are just like, oh my God, he's talking with other people and all that. That's not the big deal. Like, it's not always that. I mean, it can be, but don't doubt your partner. Try to think in a positive way that maybe my partner is busy and forgot his phone. Maybe he fell asleep or she fell asleep. I mean, just don't doubt your partner. If you want to be in a healthy relationship, stop questioning everything that's happening. So, yeah. And another thing, relationship can be challenging, really challenging, like, trust me. But with the, with the series that I've just told you guys, they are going to love each other endlessly if you follow these things. I'm not telling you how to love your partner, how to be in a relationship i'm just trying to help the ones that i need that are in need of this kind of help if you're insecure about your relationship and all that sis or brother if you're watching no don't be trust your partner stop overthinking things relationships are difficult relationships are not something that are just like um i'm it's, it's not it's very difficult i don't know how to explain it but it's a, a really difficult thing so you just need to put your heart out there and try to experience these things in a good way tell your partner what you want and tell your partner what you want in a relationship these three things are just the best thing the honesty the whatever they're all inside the three c's to a healthy relationship and i'm gonna add after the commitment that uh, guys respect is something huge if you're a girl guys like they love to be respect they they're not gonna say it but if you show them respect you're gonna receive the best love you've never received in your love if you, res you respect your boyfriend your husband your partner whatever you're gonna be happy and another thing is boundaries there's boundaries you guys you don't jump other boundaries you need to, to know your place in a relationship don't be i missed whatever i can do whatever i want i missed whatever i can do whatever i want don't do that just respect other people's boundaries don't jump and be everywhere and another thing is support support your partner i mean come on support your partner don't be like uh 
if I your partner feels like they want to do something let's say um, they want to be an influencer this is an example they want to be an influencer and you're like no I don't want you to be on social media I don't want you to do this and this and that don't be doing that what are you doing support your partner even if you see that this is not going anywhere but show them support don't be the kind of person that pull someone down if you see someone dreaming big if you see someone wanting to explore be there for them even if they fail still be there for them don't be i mean i don't know i'm just relationships are just about everything you need to be there you need to do all the things like another thing is discovery discover you guys before doing anything hectic before being in love try and discover each other discover what the other person loves what the other person is into what the other person's interests are before doing all the things because you're gonna start halfway in the relationship while you start discovering what this person like you you find that you have nothing in common and you, you start hating each other because you didn't give yourself a chance to discover each other so i think that's one important thing and another thing is Mm. crisis you're gonna face a lot of crisis like it's gonna be a lot you're gonna be tested you're gonna there's gonna be a lot of things that are gonna make a relationship shake but be there don't let this thing get you down just try and be there and try to understand if the other person is trying to talk to you Try to listen. Don't let your relationship shake and then collapse. Let it shake and try to make it stable. Don't let it collapse because of, I don't know. Another point is friends. Friends? <laughs> I mean, guys, friends are just, I don't know, but don't be going around telling your friend everything that's happening in your relationship why are you doing that why are you telling your friend that oh my boyfriend took me out okay you can tell the little details that are not that important but don't be like oh we're going this and this and that we're doing this we're like all the details we're going through this and all that you can tell your best friend all that you know you trust if only if you know you trust your best friend that much to tell her each and everything but if you know that no my friend is just going through the most when it comes to the relationship don't be going to her and like splattering all the good things that's happening in your life while she's trying to be nice and not share each and everything that is great in your life because you know that she's a bit struggling and try to be there for her don't be in a god relationship oh my god i don't worry about anything my life is just so perfect and to be like sitting there like you think when she gets an opportunity to be alone with your girl, your boyfriend or your boyfriend just something just happens you know like life is life something happens she's gonna want to experience the things that you're experiencing and you'll be like oh Chang is Tina. hey blah 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 and you've been doing that to her all this time stress and management if you have stress in a relationship learn how to manage it learn how to talk to your partner about it and you feel if you feel like you're depressed try to talk to your partner don't be bottling things up on your like alone and not talking about it that's the worst thing you could ever do if you feel like something's bothering you and you feel like you have anxiety or you have depression just try to open up to your partner he or she will understand and try to go through the situation with you don't be 
uh, I'm fine. I'm, I don't have a problem. I'm okay. No, don't do that. Try to open up and be there and communicate. Communicate with your partner. So, yeah, I think that's about it. And thank you guys. So, I'll see you guys on my next video. I've already said I've already done an outro. So, here is it. Bye. <laughs> So I'm just gonna end the video here. I think I've talked enough and I hope you you took some pointers from this to apply in your relationship and thank you guys so much for watching and yeah we're on the road to hundred subscribers so let's keep going please you continue sharing my videos sharing my link and i really appreciate you guys for doing all the things you do for me and watching my videos so thank you thank you so much and i'll see you guys on my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe subscribe hit that red button down there and subscribe it's free you're not gonna be charged anything so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you guys on my next video peace out